Hey masters, today I wanted to try a new unofficial report that we can integrate with Playwright and it looks like this. Let me show you this pretty quick demo. Basically, we have a beautiful dashboard with a graphic here telling us what is passed, what is failed, skipped, flaky. Also, we can check inside of a test suite what is going on inside the different um, in different tests. Also, we can see the steps here and we can have a beautiful report. So my plan today is to try it out. I'll, ins I'll be installing Playwright here in my, in, well, in, in a new folder and I'll try to, well, check how the steps work and have a, a beautiful demo with you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look of how it works. I think it's important to recognize the people who are working for the community. And in this case, it's the time for Kushik. He's the guy who has created this package the one that we're going to review today. And he has an amazing YouTube channel with a lot of subscribers. So please go ahead and take a look of the content that he's creating and also try this package. Maybe it's a good solution for your project as well. Let's start taking a look of how this works. All right, masters, as you can see, I do have an empty folder here. I'm just going to open the terminal and I'll be running the command npm init playwright latest. This is going to install playwright. We can choose the flavor. I'll be using TypeScript. This is the place where my folders are going to be under tests. I'm going to say that I want to have GitHub actions. Maybe in the future we can integrate this reporter with hit GitHub actions. And yes, I want to install playwright install. Now I have a package.json with the dependency of playwright here. And you can see that everything is working fine. Actually, if I run the command MPX playwright test, I should be able to generate an automatic report. Um, just as you can see over here, let me show you this right now. The, the tests are executing and I have a beautiful report out of the box using playwright just like this. All right, let me show you this. Um, doo -doo -doo, and this is the report right now. I have like a simple describe, a simple test suite. You can see at the top the amount of uh, tests that passed, the, that failed, that flaky and skipped. And you can see that under this spec, I have like uh, one execution per browser. I have Chromium at top in the middle, Firefox, and then I have WebKit. Okay, masters, let's configure and install the reporter in our project. This is going to be the section of this video where I am going to install and configure the project. <laughs> so I'm going to clear the console and I'll be running the command npm install r20 report. And you can see that now it is present in my package.json. I'll prefer to move it to the dev dependency JSON here. So I'll be just moving it to where it belongs. Okay, here we have the dev dependency and now it should be working fine. Then I have to go to the playwright.config.ts and I have to change the reporter configuration from HTML to the one that the uh, documentation is telling us. In this case, it is this one. Okay, so I'm going to copy it and I'll be pasting it in my configuration file. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to format this document and I'll be changing the project name from let code play with report to automated test report. Awesome. The author name is going to be John media and the test type is going to be end to end. I'm fine with it. <laughs> also, you can notice that under the array, I have their Tony report, but I'm also having the dot reporter. This is going to help us to see what is going on in the, in the console. So we're going to have, more insights about it. All right, masters, I think it's time to run our test just to make sure that the configuration that we have done is correct. So the command is pretty simple. MPX test, play rate test. Okay, that's it. So it is going to start the execution and you can see that now we have dots here because we're using another a configuration here, which is the dot reporter. That's what I was trying to explain you before. Okay. Uh, you can see that everything has passed and we have a new report over here. So I'm going to open the report and I want to reveal it in the file explorer just to double click on it and show you the result. And here it is, guys. You can see that in the left side of the web, I have the, every single test uh, or spec file that we have. And under that, we have like every single test that we have in inside of this spec. 
I think this is awesome and I like, like the way of how this is organized because now inside of the has style test, we have the result per each uh, browser and it looks organized from my perspective um, when I check the report. Okay, you can see in the right side of the website as well that we have a dashboard with the results for all the tests, the pass, the failed, skip, flag, and retry. We can click on every single action or, I don't know, kind of button here, and it is going to well uh, display us the result per category. And also here we have a graphic, a beautiful, um, yeah a chart here telling us what the amount of test passed, the skip, fail, flaky, and also here are the author, the test type, duration, success rate, and the last run. I think this is awesome and I like it. Um, okay, in this particular case, I think every single test is passed. And now let's see what is going on if I customize a test step and also what is going on if I create an assertion error just to see if it attach uh, the screenshot and if it behaves correctly. I'm gonna go to the test has title, okay? And I'll be using a, um, a custom um, playwright test step, okay? What I mean with this is I'll be, use, I'll be using the, the command I wait a test that step, okay? I have, I have here to define the name of the step, but let me just complete the structure of this command async. This is a narrow function and this is the syntax that Playwright is expecting. I'm gonna copy and paste it over here because I have a couple of steps. The first one is gonna be visit the website, okay? And the second one is gonna be an assertion. And there it is. And I'm gonna just delete some spaces here because I don't want them. And I'll be formatting this uh, manually because I don't have Prettier right now here installed in this project. Okay. Uh, the first test step is going to be a navigate, a navigate to the website. And the second step is going to be a check that the title is the correct one. This is going to be like a generic test step, but I want to make sure that it, the, this step is going to be displayed in the report. And we have like, uh, well, an understandable output. Okay. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to make an assertion error. I'm going to change this string here from playwright to playwright SSS. And obviously it is going to, is, well, it is going to fail. So the execution is going to be MPX playwright test. And here it is. Now the execution is in progress. I have three of them working and now we're going to start having three failed. All right, there it is. If you want to, you can see what is going on in the console. This is the magic of the dot um, reporter. But the important thing here is that I have the Omni report. And I'm gonna double click on this and here you have the results. You can see that I have three passed and three failed. And as you can see, the well, the chart is reflecting that as accordingly. Um, I can check the past tests. You can see that the left side menu is working as expected and everything is working fine. But if I go back to the summary and change to failed, you can see what is going on here. And basically um, it is actually giving us this, the steps, the status, the duration, and you can see the steps here. Navigate to the website check that the title is the correct one. This is the step that is not passing the assertion. And that's what I'm doing over here, just to make sure that uh, it is not uh, the correct one. Masters, I, I wanted to add something here because as you noticed, the screenshots of the failures were not attached automatically. To be honest, I'm not sure why it is not done automatically because I have tried this um, package in a in Mac OS and it was working fine. I'm not sure if it is something related with Windows or it might be my fault, um, but I have found a solution for this if you uh, have the same uh, situation. Basically, I came here to the playwright.config.ts, okay? And I added under the use configuration, a new property named a screenshot, okay? And I added only on failure, okay? Basically, it is gonna, create a, screen, a screenshot only on failure. Okay, this is awesome. And as you can see, now it is generating an attachment. 
Okay, so I'm gonna run this again, just to show you that this is working fine. And we're gonna have as well, three test passed and then three uh, test failing, right? And you can see that the screenshot is again generated. And if I go to the um, Ortoni report here and I reveal it this in my, well, in, in the browser, I'm gonna go to the failed one or the failed results. And if I check the title here, you can see now in a screenshot of what is going on. And, and here it is attached to the report and that's awesome. Okay, as well, you can see the step where the assertion is not working. And I think this is a valuable resource that we can use in our projects. I really like the way of how this is structured and probably we have the stuff to be improved, but I know that this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna have new iterations and pro possible bugs are gonna be uh, fixed in, in the future. So masters, I know if, I know that, um, well, it was a kind of quick video, but I really like it. I, I really like this solution and probably in future projects, I'll be trying it because I like it. So masters, thank you very much for all your patience. All, um, well, watch it until the end. So please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel to uh, keep creating videos about software testing. And in this case, web automation and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.